How to cook Filipino style chicken curry. First things first, pan fry the bell peppers and then set aside. Pan fry the carrots and then set aside. And pan fry the potatoes and then set aside. And on that same pan, saute garlic, onion, and ginger. Afterwards, add in chicken pieces and saute for some minutes. And then, we add the fish sauce and the curry powder. And then, let's add the turmeric powder and of course, don't forget the pepper. And afterwards, add the coconut cream. Cover and cook for 25 minutes. And then you can add in the pan-fried carrots, the pan-fried potatoes, and then cover and cook for 5 minutes. Add in the pan-fried bell peppers and some celery. Cover again and cook for 5 minutes. And then you're done. Thanks for watching! How to cook beef pochero. First things first, let's fry our sliced sabaw or sweet plantain banana and set that aside. And then you get a big pot, saute garlic, onion, and tomatoes. Add the beef cubes and then add fish sauce. Add tomato puree or tomato paste. Add whole peppercorn and enough water. Cover and bring it to a boil. And then lower the heat and simmer until tender. And afterwards, you can add in the carrots and the potatoes. Cook for 5 minutes and then add fried saba and chickpeas or garban sauce. Cook for 5 minutes, add in the green beans. And another 5 minutes, add in the cabbage. And for the last time, after 5 minutes, add the pet chai or bok choy. And then you're done. Thank you for watching. How to cook Filipino chicken and ginger stew with cabbage or pesang manok. First, put the chicken pieces in a pot and then add 8 cups of water. Put the onions, some crushed ginger, 2 teaspoons of salt, and some cracked pepper. Cover and bring to a boil. And then, lower the heat afterwards and cook for 30 minutes. And then you can add in the potatoes. Cover and cook for 5 minutes. And then add the cabbage. Cover again and cook for 5 minutes. And lastly, add the green beans. Yes, cover and cook for 5 more minutes. And then you're done. Thanks for watching. How to cook squashed wing beans with shrimp in coconut cream. First, saute the garlic, saute the onion, and then add the shrimps. After that, add some fish sauce and the coconut cream. Cover and let it simmer. Afterwards, we can add all the squash. And then cover again and cook for another 5 minutes. And then we can add in the wing beans or the cigarillas. My favorite cigarillas. And then cover it again and cook for a few more minutes. Add some salt and some pepper to taste. And then you're done. Thanks for watching! How to make fried eggplant in garlic ginger sauce. First, slice the eggplant lengthwise and then salt the eggplants and then toss the eggplants with the salt and let it rest for 30 minutes rinse off the salt under running water and dry them between two paper towels and then prepare all-purpose flour plus cornstarch in a bowl and then beat two eggs in a separate bowl heat up oil in a small pan and then dredge the eggplants in flour and dunk it into the egg mixture and repeat it one more time fry the eggplants but do not overcrowd and then let's prepare the sauce. Heat minced garlic and minced ginger in a pan. And then add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of rice vinegar, and some sugar. Add the slurry, and then put back the cooked eggplants into the pan and give it a mix. And then you're done. Thanks for watching! How to make easy French toast. In a pan, put 4 tablespoons of honey, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, some banana slices, and then mix them all together and let it simmer. And then get a bowl, beat 1 egg plus 1 small can of milk. Meanwhile, heat some butter in a pan. 
and while the butter is melting, soak a slice of bread for 10 seconds. And then fry the bread over medium heat for 3 minutes each side. And then transfer it to a plate. And then put the honey banana cinnamon on top. And drizzle with some syrup. And some whipped cream if you like. Enjoy and thanks for watching! How to make chili fish fillet in oyster sauce. First, cut your fillet into strips and then season them with salt and pepper. And in a bowl, prepare your all purpose flour and cornstarch mixture. And then beat two eggs in a separate bowl. Heat some oil in a small pan and then dump the fillets into the flour and eggs mixture two times. And then fry the fillet but do not overcrowd. And then it's time to make the sauce. Heat the minced garlic and minced ginger in oil and then add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce and around 4 tablespoons of oyster sauce and then some sugar. Add the slurry, give it a mix and then put back the cooked fillets into the pan and add some chili flakes if you like and then give it a mix and then you're done. How to make easy lactic or coconut curd. First, pour coconut cream into a pan. And then boil the coconut cream over low heat. Notice it will start to curdle. Just continue to cook until it turns brown. And then separate the brown latik from oil and you're done. Thanks for watching! How to make easy biko. First, cook 3 cups of glutinous rice and then in a separate pot, heat up 3 cups of coconut milk. Add one and a half cups of sugar and then add one half teaspoon of salt and then add the cooked rice mix 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 make sure it is well mixed and then transfer the whole mixture to a serving dish and then flatten and distribute the mixture evenly Next is to divide the biko into serving portions. And lastly, add the coconut curd as toppings on each biko slices. And then you're done! Thanks for watching! How to make easy tuna omelet. First, beat 8 eggs and then pour the mixture into heated oil in the pan and then pour canned tuna on top. Spread the tuna evenly but on the half part only. And when the egg is fully formed, you can now fold it gently over to the tuna. And then if you like, you can divide the omelet into serving portions. And then you can serve and enjoy. Thanks for watching! Today I will be recreating Argentina corned beef label picture. So first we grab what we need, the Argentina corned beef, the tortilla chips, and of course the cheddar cheese spread. And then we cook our corned beef as usual, sauteing it in garlic and in onion. And for our assembly time, as you can see, I prepare a bed of tortilla chips and then putting the corned beef on top of it and then garnishing it with some spring onions and of course, topping it with our cheddar cheese spread. Mmm, looks so good! And it's tasting time! I tell you guys, it was perfection! And I want you to try it now. Thanks for watching! Recreating craft cheddar cheese spread label picture. So what do we need? We need tomatoes and then we need the cheddar cheese spread Next we need the lettuce and Lastly, we need a flatbread like this one So let's prepare. Let's prepare our lettuce 
and let us cut or slice our tomatoes. For assembly time it's so easy, just place the lettuce on top of the flatbread and place the tomatoes on top of the lettuce. And top it all with our cheesy cheese spread. As you can see, I put so much because it was requested by my son. And for tasting time, of course, here is my son. And he loves it. Thank you for watching. Recreating Saitaku Udon Noodles label picture. Let's grab what we need. We need Udon Noodles. We need Mushroom Sauce. Oyster Sauce. And then we need Brown Mushroom. A zucchini, and since I can't find broccolini, I just grab baby asparagus. And then we cook the udon noodles, follow package instructions, boil 6 to 7 minutes, and then set aside. And in a separate pan, let's cook the mushroom, add in the chopped zucchini, add the mushroom sauce, and the oyster sauce. And then Add in the chopped baby asparagus and the cooked udon. And for final touches, drizzle sesame oil into your udon bowl. And then you're done. Thanks for watching.